Hey guys, Dr. Amadeiri here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie the one-handed surgical knot with your right hand. The reason I like this tie is because it's fast, uh, it's easier to tie with an instrument or needle still attached to your thread, and it makes you look good in the OR. So let's get started. Um, as always, we have the incision oriented away from us and the needle attached to our purple thread. We're going to grab our needle with the needle driver and throw our stitch from right to left. So we've got the needle and probably an instrument attached to the purple string. I like to call this the post. Essentially you're going to hold on tight and not really do too much with your left hand. Maybe some positioning, but that's about it. So let's start tying some knots. To start, I like to have the thread um, draping across my palm. In this first move I call the karate chop. You're going to pinch the string between your thumb and your pointer finger, open your hand, and karate chop the string draping it over your three fingers. You're going to take the post and drape it over in the opposite direction. With your middle finger, you're going to go over the purple, under the white, and extend. You can see that you form a cross. With your middle finger and your ring finger, you're going to pinch the white string and pull it through the loop you created. And you can see that we've tied an overhand knot. Pull it tight, first knot's done. The second one starts the same way, and essentially, securing the string with your lower three fingers, you're going to extend your pointer finger, and with your thumb to help position it, you can see that we form the shape of a claw. I like to call this move the claw. You're going to take your post, and wrap it over your pointer finger in the opposite direction. Now the next move is the exact same as before, but this time with your pointer finger. You're going to go over the purple, under the white, again using your thumb to help position it, and extend. Now we only have one finger so we can't grab the string. Instead we're going to rotate it backwards through this loop and pull our free end through. When we pull it tight, we've got our first square knot. So to tie a square knot with the one-handed technique, first you do a karate chop, then you do a claw, you get a square knot. Let's tie a second square knot, and this time around we're going to pay attention to which direction we're pulling the strings. So with our post secured, we're going to karate chop the string. Drape it over, go over under, pinch it, and pull it through. Now the direction to pull this depends on the orientation of the string. When we do the karate chop you can see that the free end already is pointing away from us. So with the karate chop we pull the free end in the direction it already wants to go we pull it away from us. Let's tie the second knot. Start with the claw, drape it over, go over under, and rotate it through. Now with the claw, this free end is already pointing towards us, so we pull the free end towards us. When we do that, you can see again that we've got another square knot. Let's do one more knot. Um, with the one-handed technique, this is a little more difficult than the two-handed, so repetition is key. Just keep practicing this. So the first knot, again the karate chop. We drape it over, over under, and pull it through. And to tighten it, we pull the free end away from us. The claw, over under, rotate it through, we pull the free end towards us. It gives us our third square knot. So we're going to tie a few more knots and uh, while we're doing this, I'm going to share our camel fun fact of the day. You can see I brought my friend here, my favorite pair of lacrosse shorts. Um, contrary to popular belief, the camel's hump is not made of water, but it is made of 100% fat. And in the Middle East, it's actually a delicacy. Sounds pretty tasty. Uh, maybe not for me. Camels are like my favorite animal, so, you know, I can't really eat them. But there you go. Camel fun fact for the day. And our fourth square knot. We got some time, so let's tie one more. Karate chop, over under, pull it away from you. The claw, over under, pull it towards you. So there you go. That is the one handed tie with your right hand. Again, repetition is key, so feel free to watch this video as many times as you'd like and keep practicing this. Eventually, you're going to get it. Um, a cool thing with the one-handed technique is that it's, it allows for an easy way to tie a sliding knot, which I think is one of the more useful knots you can use in the OR. Um, 
check out my other videos for uh, for the sliding knot technique. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck.